We're continuing our series on how to restore a four-track reel-to-reel tape machine. All right, so now what we're going to do, before we actually get into this section, I wanted to take a moment and show you a little bit the construction of the heads themselves. There are actually little gaps in a reel-to-reel -reel head, and each of the playback record heads are built this way. The erase heads on this particular deck is constructed differently. Right in the center of your screen you'll see track number one, followed by track two, track three, and track four. Actually, when you're recording in stereo, on a normal record head you're actually going to be using track one and track three. The reason they do that is because you get maximum separation and what they call crosstalk, so you can't hear what's going on this track over here, or vice versa. And then the second or the rear parts on a four track reel to reel would be track two and four. As you see, they're a little bit positioned a little off center so that you also get good separation in channel as well as signal to noise ratio. So that's kind of the arrangement of what a four track head is like. What we do is we're going to align this head with this head first, and then we'll do the stereo heads, tracks one and three, and two and four. That's how we actually do the alignment. So let's try that now. And we dial in on this, we dial in the frequency, so we're at about at 2,000 hertz, or 2 kilohertz. And then we actually use kind of a jury rig connection in a Y, what they call a Y configuration, that goes into the back of the deck, which we'll show right now. So the Y connection goes right into the deck from down over here. It connects right into the back of the deck in the line input on the front because we're checking now the alignment of the front heads one and three. Once we have the volume set at the two kilohertz, then, and it's plugged in properly, we go back to the deck here and we verify that indeed we have a zero dB set at a particular line volume. So there's three pieces to this pie. One is calibration off of the signal generator, two that we're at the proper frequency, and the third is that we have these guys adjusted exactly at zero dB. Now we're ready to put on the calibration tape, which we'll do in the next section as we continue restoring a reel-to-reel -reel machine.